hey guys, I'm sorry that the video that I posted didn't work. Um, it was because I made it too long because this is the theory that I really, really love and I'm really passionate about. So I've changed how I'm doing the video so that this one's going to be shorter for you and it should serve you for the next two weeks actually. Not only is it shorter, but you get to watch fewer videos. Aren't you excited? So when we're talking about communication excellence theory, which is positive communication, we kind of use those terms back and forth. Um, positive communication is the umbrella that communication excellence theory falls under, but I tend to use those uh, two terms interchangeably. But the theory that we're actually discussing is communication excellence theory. Um, prior to this theory, all of the theories that we've talked about have really explained communication. Um, it has looked at, at communication and how communi people communicate and really sought to explain what was happening. But what this theory does is it seeks to actually tell you what to do. Um, there are really three fields of communication studies. One is uh, an explanatory theory. Uh, one is one that tells you what to do, which is what this one is. And then the final one is telling you all the bad things that we do in communication. Um, so really the field that we're talking about, positive communication, and the field of telling you what to do in communication is really, really small because it's relatively new. Um, there's not a whole bunch of research on it. So if you're doing a, your research paper on this for your final paper, please let me know because I'll be able to provide you with more resources that I have um, access to that you may not have access to as easily as I do. So let me know if you decide to do your final on this paper so that I can help you out. Um, I'm really excited about this field because it's a new field and it's something that can change the way that we think about communication and that we think, the way that we think about ourselves and relationships, uh, all of it. So I think it's a really important theory that, to talk about. Um, I'm going to give you an overview on how the theory is structured. I think that the, the reading material is pretty straightforward. Um, it's really, it's meant so that anyone can understand it. Anyone that's not even a communication scholar uh, can understand it. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. But first I want to tell you how the theory is formatted. And then I'll give you a little bit of history on the, uh, the reading material that you have and why it's like it is. Um, the theory was developed by Julian Merivel. Oh, first I was going to tell you about the structure of the theory. See, I, I'm not a perfect communicator and you'll read that in the misconceptions part of the reading. Um, the theory is, but it has three parts. It has misconceptions, it has uh, principles, and it has skills. And what Dr. Marivelle really wanted to do was he wanted to supply these ideas that we have about communication. And he says that these are ideas that are commonly held, most people think about communication this way, but it's actually detrimental to how we're communicating and it's not accurate. And those are the thing, those are the reading materials for this week. Um, it's talking about miscommunications. So he, what he wants you to do and what I want you to do this week is to think about these miscommunications, these ways that we, that we think about communication and kind of wipe them from your mind to prepare you for next week when we study the principles and the skills. Um, think about these things. You may come up with more misconceptions that you have about communication based on what you read. And this, these do not just apply to public speaking. Some of them can apply to public speaking, but they're more broad. Uh, how we communicate with each other, how we communicate in conflict, how we communicate in public speaking. All of these realms of communication it covers. So that's one of the great things about it. Um, the miscom this miscommunications lead into the principles, and the principles are the ideas about communication that we're replacing the misconceptions with. So we have these ideas in our mind that we're wiping away and we're replacing them with new ideas about communication. That's what the principles are. And now that we have these ideas about communication, we're going to develop skills uh, about what communication, good communication is, and these skills are developed lifelong. Um, you never get to a point where you are a perfect listener. You just become a better and better listener um, by practicing it. And you'll learn more about the individual skills um, through the reading material. Now that I've given you an overview on how the theory is laid out, I'm going to give you a brief history on it because I think it's really under, it was really important to understand where it came from. Uh, Dr. Marivelle is from the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, so he's really close by to you. And he saw a void in communication research 
because there wasn't much research on positive communication and the ways that we should communicate. And so he has spent about seven years developing this theory. Um, I actually was his advisee and uh, I did research on this theory for my master's project. And so your reading material is actually snippets of my master's project. And I've written it so I, most of you should understand it. If you have any questions, I have intimate knowledge with this material because I dealt with it for so long. So I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, if you get really interested in this theory or you're really passionate about positive communication, uh, his book comes out that he's written, that he spent several years writing, um, comes out at the end. I think October 17th, and you can get on Amazon. I would suggest getting the paperback because it's about $100 cheaper than the hardback. Um, but I think it's a great, it's going to be a great read, and he referenced my paper in it, so I, it's really exciting for me. Um, but that's really the basics of w where this theory stands. I think this may be the most important theory because we've learned this semester how how we communicate currently. Now we're saying these are the good ways to communicate and it provides the foundation for the next block which is conflict. So you can have these ideas about what positive communication is whenever you're thinking about conflict. So you can move into that very gracefully. Um, I want to remind you that you really need to do your case studies. There's a significant portion of you who are failing because you're not doing your case studies. If you have questions with your case studies, please ask me. At the very least, turn in a draft before it's due. After it's due, I don't care. Turn in a draft and I will give you feedback so that you're prepared for the next case study. Because your final in this class is an expanded case study. Either a brand new one that you can start or a case study that you have just beefed up that you've already done. So it's best if you go ahead and write some of them now. Um, if you haven't turned one in yet, go ahead and turn one in. I will give you half credit um, for whatever, whatever you earn. I will give you feedback. I will do whatever I can to make you successful, but I need you guys to try. Um, I'm trying not to make this video too long, so I'm going to sign off now. If you have questions, email me, call me, contact me in some way because I really want you to be great in this class. Talk to you soon.